Right guys, welcome to the Daily Dollop of Maths, day six. We're going to start by uh, counting in twos. Zero, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-four, thirty-six, thirty-eight, forty. Right, stop there. Let's have another one. Now we're going to do counting in fives. Zero, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, sixty, sixty-five, seventy, seventy-five, eighty, eighty-five, ninety, ninety-five, one hundred, one hundred and five. Guys, just on your, with your finger on the table, write one hundred and five for me. How would you write 105? That's right, did you get it like that? Well done. Okay, right now. We, this next bit is a bit year two-y, so year ones, don't worry too much. We did this a little bit um, last time. We're going to count in threes, but just try and join in if you can. Zero, three, six, nine, oops, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33, 36. Joining with me again for counting in threes. 0, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33, 36. OK, guys, uh, here we've got a number line. Uh, so it goes uh, 10, 20, 30, just like your ruler, really. Uh, these little red lines are halfway between um, the numbers, halfway between the multiples of 10. So here's 10, here's 20, halfway is 15. Here's 20, here's 30, halfway is 25. 15, halfway between 0 and 10 is 5. So each one of them, all of the their unit digits on the little red lines um, are 5. Uh, and then the, the other numbers, they're just not written in because they'd just be so tiny you couldn't squeeze them in and read them uh, on a ruler. So here we go. Uh, I'm going to turn this off. So we said that this number was going to be uh, have a, a, a unit digit of 5, so that's 15. That one's 25. What's this number going to be? 1 less than 25. 1 less than 25. Turn to your partner. Yeah, 24. Okay, let's try another one. 1 more than 10. Yeah, 11. One less than 15. One less than 15. Yeah, 14. Let's make this a bit harder. You guys are so good. There we go. What's that number? Halfway between 40 and 50. Halfway between 40 and 50. Yeah, 45. Well done, guys. Okay. One less than 50. One less than 50. Yeah, 49. Fantastic. Two more than 40. 40 add 2. Yeah, fantastic, 42. Okay, right. Now this is a bit, now it's a bit like a thermometer. It's a bit like um, uh, if you had a thermometer out in the garden, um, uh, this is the time, uh, 0 degrees centigrade would be freezing. Uh, anything down below that is the really cold numbers, negative numbers. We don't need to know about those uh, yet. But uh, this, the numbers go up this way, okay. So if I pull this uh, number line down here, you'll see the higher numbers. Okay, let's go all the way up, shall we? See how far this one goes? It goes all the way up to 100. Ooh, right, now I'm going to choose, uh, let's have a look. I'm going to choose, I'm going to move this one now to here. What would that number be? Halfway between 80 and 90. Halfway between 80 and 90. Yeah, 85. Here we go, next one. One more than 70. One more than 70. Yeah, 71. Oops, we off. Let's see. Uh, one less than 65. One less than 65. Yeah, 64. Okay, it's enough of that one. Let's do something else. Okay, let's have a look. So uh, let's make this a bit trickier. Where, here's 100. Here's 200. 100, let's just show you everything. 
110, 120, 130, 140, 150, oops, 160, 170, 180, 190, 200. If you want, if you like, you could imagine that these that uh, you could take. You could imagine it, that it was 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So that w w might help you visualise what the numbers are. Okay, so now, where would 150 be? A bit like 15. Imagine 15 with a zero on the end. 150. Yeah, it'd be slap in the middle. If this was 10 and this was 20, 15 would be here. 150, there it is, 150. Okay, where would 110 be? 110. How do you write 110? You could perhaps write it on the table with your finger. 100, 110. Yeah, imagine it as 11, 11 tens. There you go, 110. Okay, where would 190 be? 190. Imagine if we imagine it as 19 tens. Where would 190 be? Right over here. Fantastic. 190. Good job, guys. That was super tricky, that one. Okay. Now, so we're looking at our um, sum scales again. So uh, this time we've got 6 add 5, and I'm going to compare it with 12. Now, I haven't pressed the on button. Which way is it going to go? Which is greater? Which one's going to go down? Is it this side or this side? Yeah, 6 add 5 is 11, which is less than 12. Fantastic. Right, here's our next one. Ready, guys? So here's our next one. A 20 take away 5, and I'm going to com compare that with 6 add 10. We've, been, we've done a lot of adding 10 recently. 20 take away 5, and 6 add 10. I haven't turned it on yet. Which way is it going to go? Five less than twenty. Ten more than six. Here we go. Yeah, twenty take away five is fifteen, which is less than six add ten, which is sixteen. So fifteen is less than sixteen. Okay, let's try another one. Now this one's done already. Twenty eight add a single digit number is greater than thirty two. Twenty eight add a single digit number is greater than 32. What could that be, that single digit number? Now I know from my bonds of 10 that um, to get to 30, you'd add 2 to this, 2 and 8 feeling great. Um, so that would only get me to 30, and this is all the way to 32. So adding 2 and then another 2 would get me to 32, and that would be equal. So it's got to be more than 4. Let's have a look. Oh, 7. It could have been um, 5, 6, 7. Eight or nine. Okay, right. Uh, now let's have a look. What, what should we do next? Mm, okay. 55 take away missing number. This is a two digit number. 55 take away missing number is equal to 41. What could you take away from 55 to make 41 to be, for them to be the same? They're balanced. You might want to work this out on paper. You could draw a picture of tens and ones. I'm going to do that now. Here's, so we'll just have, have a reminder, 55 take away something has got to be 41. Here's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 5. I'm going to make it down to 40. There's 10, 20, 30, 40. So now I've got to 40. Now I've got to get it down to 41. I'm going to keep taking these away until I get it down to 41. There we go. 10, 20, 30, 41. That's, I've made it to 41 now which is the number I'm trying to make. How much did I take away? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we're thinking this is going to be 14, guys. Um, if this is 14, give yourself a, a silent cheer. Yeah. There we go, 14. Fantastic. OK, here comes our next thing. Now, I'm sorry about my old money. I should redraw this money. So um, year ones, can you have a go at what coins? You, you might want to get some uh, money out um, uh, of your purse to, to practice this on the table but for the next few minutes can year ones can you with this part part whole can you show me all the ways of making 10p and year twos here's I'm sorry about my old pound coin sorry about that 
Can you show me all the multiples of 10 that you could use to make one pound? One pound is worth the same value as 100p. So how could you make one pound? I'm just going to give you, I'd like you to pause the video here. So year ones, you're doing it with 10p. And year twos, you're doing it with one pound. So pause the video here and then and we'll look at some answers together in a moment. Off you go, guys. Right, I'm just going to do, so uh, I'm hoping you've unpaused the video now. I'm going to have a look at some ways of making 10p. So uh, one way is 5 and 5. Another way is uh, 4 and 6. Let's do some tricks. Another way is 3 and 7 made in heaven. Another way is 1 and 9 feeling fine. Have I, done, is there any, have I missed any? Did I do four and six? Let's do some tricks. Four and six. Okay. Super job. Well done, guys. Give yourself a pat on the back. Ooh, I'm too good. Okay. Now, the people in year two who are doing show me all, show me all the ways of making a pound. Same skills apply. So it's just um uh, multiplied by ten. So five and five. Let's do a jive. Helps us to to remember fifty add fifty makes a pound. And uh, we could also do uh, sixty. Add 40, and we could also do 50, 60, 70, 80, add 22 and 8, feeling great. And what else haven't I done? Um, uh, 20, 30, add 70, and 10, add 90. Did you get all of those? If you did, give yourself a pat on the back. Super job, guys. Right, we're going to do some... Okay, we're going to look at a little bit of time. So I'm going to turn off the minute, oh sorry, turn off the hour hand. Uh, so what we did already is we said that the minute hand counts in fives when it gets to these numbers. So we're going to count in fives. Join in with me. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60 or zero. And again, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, or, or zero. Now, we're going to do, what we're going to do now is we're going to look at um, the quarters of the clock. We're going to look at, at here, 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 and here. So uh, I'm going to use the language that we use when we see uh, the minute hand go to all these places, to the 12, to the 3, to the 6, and to the 9. So what we say is we say, this is o'clock, so please join in if you can, o'clock, Quarter past, half past, it's half the way round. A quarter to o'clock. Right, join in please. Quarter past, half past, quarter to o'clock. Quarter past, half past, quarter to o'clock. Quarter past, half past, quarter to o'clock. Brilliant, good job guys. Now, so we're on six o'clock at the minute. Six o'clock. Uh, it's six o'clock. Um, I'm uh, I'm still asleep, uh, but in an hour's time, the dog comes and wakes me up. What time will it be in an hour's time? That's right, seven o'clock. Okay, so the dog's woken me up. For half an hour, I lie in my bed reading a comic. What time will it be in half an hour? Half past seven. Okay. It takes me an hour to eat my breakfast. What time will it be in an hour's time? One hour. Okay, the, that minute hand is going to go all the way around, back to halfway around. Half past eight. Okay. For half an hour, I watch some cartoons on the telly. Half an hour. What time will it be? Nine o'clock. Okay. Then uh, I go out on my bike with my family and we cycle for two hours. What time will it be in two hours' time? Eleven o'clock. Okay. Then for half an hour we eat our sandwiches under a tree. What time do we finish eating our sandwiches? 
which is a bit early at 11 o'clock, but never mind. Uh, for half an hour, eat our sandwiches under a tree. What time will it be? Half the way past 11. Half past 11. Well done, guys. Okay, last thing. Here we go. Play cards, right? And I'm going to switch the numbers off. We're going to do numbers between 91 and 110. Here we go. 98 is my first number. Oh, that's quite tricky. 98. Because can you see 98's here? It's very near the middle. What do you reckon? Higher or lower? I reckon higher. Let's see if it's higher. Oh, dearie me. So close. Okay, next one. 97. So it's got to be over here, 97. So I'm going to say higher again. 108. Okay, now 108. That's quite tricky. I'll just show you that. 108, 107, 108, 109, 110. It's very close to 110. Where, what do you reckon? Higher or lower? It's got to be lower, isn't it? Please be lower. Yes. 95. Higher or lower? I think 95 is about here. It's got to be higher, isn't it? Fingers crossed higher. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, uh, now that's uh, that's easy, isn't it? Got to be higher, isn't it? Please. What do I get? Three? Yes. No, ha oh, sorry. Go on. Well done, guys. So, um, ooh, right. What's your reward going to be for today? Uh, you get on your shoulder a little dial, okay? A little knob that you can twist on your shoulder. And it's got all different hairstyles. So if you turn it one way and press the button, you get short hair. If you turn it all the way the other way, you get really long, straight hair. If you turn it to the middle, you, you might get a Mohican when it spikes up in the, in the middle. Okay, guys, uh, well done. Uh, thanks for coming today. Uh, see you next time.